So now we continue from part 6 of our complete application on that fleet management version 2 and this is where we are currently. We've set up our template and we've also created the HR department. When we go to slash HR now, we have HR department. In this part 6, I would like us to create every other department. So basically, let's do a brief plan of our application. So we have, uh, I've made a little plan, so I just want to carry you along. And if you want, you can actually adjust uh, this plan if you want. So basically, we want to keep it very simple. I uh, want to have only six departments in this fleet management system, which is a company that actually does fleet management. Because at the end of the day, we can actually sell this application to a company that does fleet management. So I want us to kind of continue building it up. So later on, we want to add when we want to add additional modules, we can actually simply add it. So this master page here is going to be available for you and me. Uh, you can find it in the link in the description box of this video. So we have a HR department. HR department, we have these tables here. We have the employees table, the job roles, of the job titles. We have departments, employee types, could be contract, could be full-time, could be intern. We have employee statutes, it could be active or terminated and stuff like that. So these are the tables that will be part of the HR module. If you want to add more tables, that will be fine. But for now, I do recommend we keep it simple. And we have a vehicle slash fleet uh, department or module. So this is the main module of this application. And here we have a list of vehicles. The vehicles table is going to hold a list of vehicles. We have vehicle models, vehicle make, uh, mix, vehicle status, so statuses, vehicle types, could be ambulance, could be VIP, could be uh, personal, and have vehicle hire, so vehicles can be hired uh, from this fleet management company to other companies or to individuals. So record of vehicle hire is also kept. Vehicle movement, so if a vehicle moves from one our location to another, we want to track the movement. Later on, we are going to do automatic tracking. We're going to try to use actually GPS um, uh, library to kind of add automated tracking later on. And, and then we have maintenance records that's going to also be kept in this table uh, of vehicle maintenance. I also want us to have a help desk. So someone who has a problem with this application can actually go to help desk and open a ticket. So we open a ticket, you have a record of all the tickets, and we have the status of the ticket. It could be open, it could be closed, it could be pending, um, and so on. So we have accounts department, or accounts slash billing department is going to be handling the, the billing needs of this uh, company. So we have a transaction, it could be debit or credit. So when you pay a supplier for services, that is a transaction, and that is like a, a debit or something. So we are going to uh, figure that out, but the table of transactions is going to be maintained in this transactions table. And we have transaction type, as I mentioned, it's going to be either debit or credit. So if you if an account department received money from, let's say, someone that hired a vehicle, a client, that's a receivable or something, and that is a credit, but when it, uh, the company pays a serviceman for us uh, maintaining the vehicle, that's a credit debit. So there's these two transaction types. Transaction status completed, pending, and invoice. We also maintain invoices that is issued or received, and we also have invoice status. I also want us to delve a bit into payroll, but we're gonna keep it super simple. So have payroll, so have payroll, we have a base pay, we have hourly rate, we have a pay level, so you have a senior, maybe medium, or maybe entry level pay, and we have the pay slips that actually contain the monthly payment of the employees. We are going to explore this as we go, and I'm going to clarify it to you. Then we have parameters module or settings module, more like the admin module where you have, you can actually view all the models in these applications, so or add or remove countries, states, locations, uh, contacts, and suppliers or clients. So these settings actually is something done by like an admin or an operator of this application. But other things like help desk is managed by help desk or department personnel, payroll personnel, accounts personnel, HR management and fleet management, maybe drivers or something. But these parameters is handled by the person in charge of this application, more or less like 
the admin. So this is my own plan. If you have any other recommendation to improve on this plan, uh, on this design, let's call it a design, then please do let me know as well. So I'm going to stop here. In the next part, we now proceed to build up this design we have.